Greetings, people of the internet. I am Lucha Man. Welcome to a very semi late review of uh, Lucha Man reviews. Sorry about this. Uh, today I am reviewing uh, the Toonami's Megalobox. It is a show where it's anime meets boxing. So here's what when I first saw, like I saw a promo for this. I thought, wait a minute, is this some weird crossover, some weird cross promotion way for them to have Nintendo Switch's ARMS game uh, be debuted? Yeah, you know, when the Switch first came out, they had that with the spring loaded ARM boxing game. That's what I thought, but I was like, no, this is not. What is Megalobox? Megalobox is, like I said, anime meets boxing. Um, in the, at some point in the future, people no longer box by themselves. People now box while wearing special robotic gear arms and backpacks called gears that help them fight. Punch faster, punch harder. So yeah, boxing gets cranked up a notch in extreme in the future. Uh, when, I first, when I was looking at this, I got a very old school vibe from it. Like, uh, I was thinking Cowboy Bebop when I was looking at this, so that's what the animation style kind of reminds me of. Um, yeah, so it's basically an anime, so it's basically Cowboy Bebop Animated uh, style of boxing, uh, Rocky and arms. Adrian, da 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 da. da. <laughs> All right. The, the main, the character's protagonist is a guy named Joe, aka Junkyard, aka Junk Dog. But uh, here's what. Normally, I watch like maybe three episodes to try to get a general feel or idea of the show. But I saw the fourth one, and by the time this review gets posted, the, it'll be almost close to the fifth one. So. Anyway, the weirdest thing is Joe is also, he wants to become the heavy, supreme champion of boxing of the entire world. And the current champ is actually voiced by Mr. Lex Lang. Uh, I, I actually know him uh, because I discovered him first through uh, Lupin the Third as Goy Monishikawa the Thirteenth. Yes, yeah, so that's the antagonist. The protagonist, um, yeah, so he wants to be the heavyweight boxing champion, supreme champion of all the world. And he has to work with his trainer. They go from the bottom rung of nothing to try to, to try to want to get to the top to to fight to get to the champ to fight the champ and to beat the champ. I was like, okay, this is gonna be good. Now, when I got to the fourth episode, something kind of weird happened. I won't spoil it, but uh, after seeing the episode, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And I checked. Megalobox is only 13 episodes. I was like, wait, what? That's right. So. Relatively speaking, I'm kind of late into the review of this, but yeah. So only 13 episodes. Now, it's weird, because I'm kind of on the fence with this. On, I like how they're going forward, they're keeping pace with the story, but uh, it seems like they've kind of skipped a few things. So the pacing's a little funny, because like uh, you have some shows that uh, either one fight or one scene or a specific segment in a fight just takes episode after episode forever and ever and ever. And yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right, Dragon Ball Saga. That's right, Dragon Ball Series. I see you in the corner there pretending not to notice we're talking about you. Yeah, with your previously, ah, uh, this episode, ah, uh, next episode, ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, it's weird with the pacing. I kind of like how it's going at a fast pace, but there is some stuff that they skipped. Mm. The sound and music, I have, I have uh, no real issue with. Uh, the music's pretty good, and I like the sound effects of the fights, the way the blows land, the way the the way the the gears sound. Yes, yeah, so everything has a, so audio-wise, it sounds good. Visually, like I said, it reminds me of Cowboy Bebop. Has a good old school feel to it. Very good movement. Now, I am not a boxing expert, so if anyone is, a, so if anyone actually does boxing or is a boxing expert, if if they watch the show, they could probably say, oh, this won't happen, or this would happen, or maybe they should tweak this, or I don't know. So if someone is boxing, has some author has some authority on it, it'd be interesting to hear their take on this uh, series. Yeah, so four episodes down, nine to go. I I'm I, I like this show. Like the, like I said, the only issue for me is how uh, they've kind of messed with the pacing. I, would, I think maybe they could have got they could have maybe squeezed in like I don't know uh, three or four more episodes to help uh, balance things out a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, it's it's good to watch. Uh, I highly recommend you, you better check out the Toonami website to catch up on the episodes you've missed, or if you have it on demand or some other video service, check it out. So, I give Megalobox a solid 9 
out of 10. Like I said, the only issue I have is the weird pacing and the number of episodes, but it's nothing, it's uh, not a complete deal breaker. All right, well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Sorry for how late this was. And again, this has been Lucha Man. For Lucha Man Review saying thank you very much and have a nice day.